everyone. This is a tutorial on how to crochet the waistcoat stitch. This stitch is not only visually striking, but also adds a lovely texture to your projects. To demonstrate this stitch, I'm going to use a bulky yarn and a large needle. The waistcoat stitch is worked on a foundation of single crochet. So I have a swatch already created with about four rows of single crochet. I want to show you that single crochet actually has a right side and a wrong side for the waistcoat stitch. So for example, if we look at this sample, you can see that there is a V right here, like a knit stitch. And there's a V right here. And there's one right here. Underneath those V's in the single crochet are what look like purl stitches. If we look at the other side of this work, at the top, we would see those purl stitches. When you're working the waistcoat stitch on a single crochet, you want to make sure that you're working on the side that has the V stitches because this is where you're going to work this stitch. Okay, so I've already made this swatch in a darker blue. I'm gonna go ahead and crochet with a lighter blue so that you can see what this looks like. And we're gonna go ahead and start in our first stitch. Normally, with a single crochet, you would crochet an extra stitch, you would skip a stitch, and you would come in here under this V or here under this V. But in this case, we're not going into the holes under the V. We're going straight into the V and you want to actually size up a size when you're doing this because it can be a little bit tricky to get into that V. So we're gonna start over here with our very first one and put the needle into the center of the V and pull up a loop. And then we will do a single crochet, or we'll, we'll do a chain to get ourselves started for a single crochet. Okay, so now we're gonna come over here into that V Put the hook right into the center of that V. You know you're in the right place if you're on either side of those legs. On the back, it comes right into the middle here. So we're going to go onto either side of those legs, pull the yarn through, yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops. And then you can see that you've already made a new V and we've got a V over here from our original. All right, so now we're going to go into our next stitch and we're not going to work into those holes. We're going to work into this V right here. I'm gonna work right into that. And as you pull that yarn over, you wanna give yourself a little, little pull. That way it makes it a little bit easier for when you come back to go into this stitch again. So now come to the next one. We'll go right into that V again, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Okay, and you can see how that stitch starts to get formed. So let me go to the end of this row and then I'm going to show you how you can work this stitch in the round for a hat. Or you could do this for a basket. If you used a nice thick fiber, it's a very sturdy fiber. This would be good for a scarf or the center of a hat. If you wanna use it as a blank canvas to do a duplicate stitch on or a blank canvas for a cross stitch, any type of embroidery that would go on top, this would be a very good choice of a stitch. And there we go. You can see how that goes right in there. Let's do the waistcoat stitch in the round. I've already done a row of single crochet 
and I have the V's right here all ready to go for the waistcoat. And I just wanna go ahead and change my color. So all I've done is the slip stitch to join the row. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up a single chain in my new color. And we'll dip those tails back to the end. And then I'll start with the first stitch in this first V right here. So we'll go ahead and put the hook right through the V. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through both. And that gives us our next, our first waistcoat stitch. So we're going right into this V. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through again. Into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Now you can see you've got those V's showing up very clearly. Let me work to the other side of this round and I'll show you how I attach it and go for the next round and the next round. This is the end of the row and our two rows need to join up. So I'm just going to slip stitch through the single chain that started this row or this round. Yarn over, pull through, pull through. Now I want to do a single crochet to start my next round and I go ahead and put a stitch marker on here so that as I come back around I know right where I am. And that's how you create the waistcoat, the waistcoat stitch in the round. That is how you do it and it's called the waistcoat stitch.